There are a lot of challenges to commercialization of a custom specific product, uh, cancer therapy. Um, and I think that for a company to succeed, they need to be reliable. They have to be able to take a product and uh, be able to make a product for sure. Uh, they have to do that in a timely fashion. I, I don't know what that timely fashion is, but probably around the three week basis it was, is going to be uh, kind of the standard that people will be trying to beat. Um, so I think if you can make a product within about three weeks, make it reliably without uh, having to, you know, having failures because of low lymphocyte count or you know, other issues uh, in the patient. Those are, those are really the, the key ones. And then of course, we will determine eventually wh wh whether one wins in the w terms of efficacy or wins in terms of less toxicity. There are two main toxicities that the field is, uh, is challenged with right now. One is the cytokine release syndrome, and that, uh, that occurs uh, from the proliferation of the cells and release of cytokines, which can lead to tumor lysis, and, and patients can get quite ill from that. And then the, the second area is the neurotoxicity, which is still undefined and unexplained, but occurs in some patients three to four days after cytokine release syndrome. Uh, fortunately, it's usually reversible, but until, if we, until we get a better handle on that, it's going to, be, it's going to need to be done in centers with uh, expertise in management of this. And those are most likely going to be trans, you know, allotransplant centers uh, in the beginning. So those are some of the things. Obviously, uh, there's going to be production uh, demands, and, uh, and it'll, be, it'll remain to be seen how, 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 how up to it all these companies will be in terms of being able to produce. But, this is solvable. I think that, 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 that it may take a little bit of time to get up and running, but you know these, these results are just tremendously exciting in patients that have absolutely no no other uh, uh, choices available. In the leukemias, the CR rate is over ninety percent, so it's just quite exciting.